Hello. My name is John. I'm an actor. I'm a director. I'm the artistic director of Unlimited Theatre. And today I'm coming to you from my kitchen. Hello and welcome to my kitchen. I've been asked to talk to you about our show, The Ethics of Progress, which we've made in very close collaboration with our good friend, Professor Vlatko Vidro. Hi, John. Hi, Vlatko. I am very sorry that I cannot be there to enjoy this session with you, but I'm here drinking my wine, just as we usually do in a pub. Actually, I mostly prefer a pint. Vlatko is just 37 years old, and already he is a professor of quantum information science at the universities of Oxford and Singapore. He has a PhD in physics from Imperial College in London. In 2004, he was appointed centenary professor of quantum information science at the University of Leeds. He is a visiting professor at the University of Vienna and a senior scientist at the Schrodinger Institute, whatever that is, also in Vienna. He was recently awarded the World Scientific Medal and Prize for Physics Research and the Royal Society's Wolfson Merit Research Award. He's published over 137 academic journals and he's about to release his first popular science book which is called Decoding Reality. He is really clever. In the Ethics of Progress I will explain just a few of the things that me and Vlatko have been talking about. I will prove to you the idea of superposition the fact that a single object can exist in a minimum of two different places at the same moment in time. I will explain to you quantum entanglement, very simply, that it is possible to entangle two separate particles so that they behave in exactly the same way, no matter how much distance we put between them. What Einstein was only able to explain as spooky action at a distance. In understanding these two things, we get to the really head-twisting part of all of this. Teleportation. The movement of objects and potentially people between different places, get this, without actually passing through any of the space in between. Seriously, this is possible. It is happening now. I then go on to suggest some potential applications for teleportation and the social, religious, political, moral, philosophical implications of those applications. Are you all clear? Good. Look, I know that some of this might sound right now a bit nuts, possibly overwhelming, but this is amazing stuff and I promise you, not difficult to understand. Trust me, I'm an actor and I understand it. Look, I am not paranoid. I think that sometimes a car crash can just be a car crash. And I'm a long way from thinking that the royal family are a bunch of shape-shifting lizards from another dimension. But there are a lot of nutty people out there doing a lot of nutty things. And I want to tell you about some of them. I've even got Mimi to help me. <laughs> He's going to be teleported. Look, if you're interested in science, new ideas, future technologies, want to know a little bit more about the quantum world, then come to the show. We've even got jokes. And there's always an opportunity afterwards to ask me or Vlatko or one of his colleagues any questions you might have. Check out the website for details. Welcome to the show. Hope you can make it. Like Galileo dropped the orange